if you're editing projects here in GarageBand, the ability to zoom in and zoom out of your projects is something that you're going to want to be able to learn. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can zoom out and zoom in to our projects here in GarageBand. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete, and this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. Now, if you use GarageBand here on your iPhone or your iPad, the ability to zoom in and zoom out of your tracks is something you may already know about. But in this video, I'm going to show you all of the different functions of zooming in and zooming out. And maybe you might learn something you didn't already know. So let's jump in and take a look right now. So at the moment, I'm working on a track here for my hashtag Song Timber Challenge. If you don't know about Song Timber, check the link up there and down below. But at the moment, it sounds like this. And you can see here I've got some MIDI tracks, I've got some audio recorded tracks here. We are working on this track at the moment. Now, what you may know is that if you want to zoom all the way in, you grab two fingers and you spread them apart and we can zoom right on in. In fact, we can zoom all the way in and if we keep going, what you'll notice up here is that snap to grid off comes on. Now, this can be super handy because if we tap in a spot here, let's just say we wanted to do some real finite editing here, we can actually now move all the way into here so if we wanted to split right at the start of this waveform let's say we wanted to split out this particular part we can tap there we can tap split and we can just cut down on that one and now look what's happened it's split that right at this particular spot so you don't have to be there right on the grid line you can split it anywhere you like let's show you that again we'll zoom all the way in again keep spreading your fingers until you get to there let's just say over here we wanted to come and split at this point here again we don't have to be right on the grid line what if we wanted to be right here like after the grid line no problem we can tap we can tap again we can tap split and we can split that out there and there you go we've actually split that out there so if we wanted to split out just a particular piece of audio there we can do that now if we hit play we could be right at the start of that particular bit of guitar. So this can be really helpful if you really want to zoom in and do some precise editing here on your track. But zooming in and zooming out can do a whole lot more than that, which is what we're going to show here. So let's dive into that now. Now, what a lot of people ask me about is how to trim your audio, especially at the start of your track. So if we wanted to trim this audio here, what we could do is we could come in here and we could go, all right, so it's right there on that first beat. Now, this one in particular... You can see there, look at these guitars. So I've zoomed all the way in. There's a little bit of guitar there before there. So if I tap here, and if I wanted to split here right on the grid, look at what's gonna happen. It's gonna cut off the start of that guitar. I don't wanna do that. So let's hit undo. And what we can actually do though, is we can actually bring this back a little bit. So if we wanted to make sure we were back in front of this, we can bring it to there and we can use that same split process that we did before. Or what we can do, let's just pretend we wanted to trim this. So let's just grab and drag this handle. What we'll do is we'll drag it back to where around about the start point is, and then we'll drag in like this. And again, once we've zoomed to that tap to grid off, so see at the top there, snap to grid is off. So now if we tap and drag, look at this, we get complete freedom to zoom in and drag wherever we want. So we can just pop that right there there and we can do the same with this other acoustic guitar we can pop it right there and it doesn't snap to the grid but it just means that if we use these guitar tracks we don't have any noise in front but we still get the full guitar let's hit play on these while they're soloed So that's really good if you've got a guitar track or some sort of audio track or a vocal track like this that you want to be able to bring in right there. So the ability to zoom in and turn that grid off lets you actually do that. But this is super handy for not only audio tracks, but for MIDI tracks as well. So let's dive into a MIDI track and show you how zoom in and zoom out works on your MIDI tracks as well. So what if we wanted to edit this drum track? Well, we can tap on this drum track, we can tap again, and we can tap edit. And what this is gonna take us into is our piano roll editor. So this is very cool because we can just drag across, we can slide over here, and we can see all the different bits we've got here. So we hit play on this one. There's our hi-hat. And we can see our hi-hat hits there. Now, if we slide our fingers like that, we can zoom in again and look at this. We can see exactly where those hits are happening. So if we wanted to move these and we wanted precise control, once again, we can zoom all the way in. And if with our grid off, we can zoom and we can slide around anywhere we like. Now, with a drum beat, you probably don't want that. So let's hit undo. 
on that one. And we'll zoom back out again. So once you zoom out a little bit, your grid comes back on. But here's the beauty part. Look at this. Look at what happens with our grid. When we're out here at this level and we drag around, it's only going to go in a sort of fairly coarse sort of grid. But if we zoom, the more we zoom in, look at the grid lines we get now. We can now go into these finite controls. And if we keep zooming in, now look at what we got. Look at up the top there. We've got 6.2. We can go just after the bar there and we can actually get a lot more finite control. So your ability to zoom in and out here on your MIDI roll is gonna help you really define exactly where you can move your different parts around here. And for drums in particular, this is super handy because we can actually adjust exactly where these drum hits happen. Now I've quantized this so they look okay, but if you wanted to, you could come in here and say, okay, we want that hit to go all the way to there. This hit here, it's right on there, but what if it was over here? Well, no problem, we could just grab it and drag it like that. So that's where you zoom in and you zoom out becomes super handy here in your MIDI notes. But that's not it. We're gonna take a look at some MIDI notes with some melodic instruments now because there's even more cool features we can do with zoom in and zoom out. So let's now scroll down to this organ part. So this is a melodic MIDI instrument as opposed to our drums, we're now talking about melodic notes. So if we tap this, we tap again, we tap edit, what we've got now is our piano over the side here, and these are all of the different notes that we're actually hitting here. So we can again, zoom all the way out like that, and we get a really good bird's eye view of our whole track, or we can zoom all the way in. And the beauty part of this is the more we zoom in, the more finite control, we have, and if we wanted to line these notes right up, we can actually do that. So if we come to here, we tap that, we play. So if we wanted to actually play those notes right on, we can actually have full control over exactly when when they actually hit. So that's very cool too. But the other thing we can do with a melodic instrument, and this is very handy as well if you've got a big score like this where you're trying to move up and down here, you can actually zoom by scrolling up like that. So you can actually zoom in that way. So you can zoom in vertically and then you can compress by grabbing your two fingers and squeezing down. So you can imagine here, if you've got notes all the way down here, so let's just say we had notes we had notes all over this fret, then look at that, we can come. And I realize I used the word fret incorrectly there, but all the way across this piano roll, you can see here, we can be all the way up the top there and all the way down here. And then if we want to compress in and look at just one section, again, we grab our two fingers and we slide it up and there we go. That's very cool. We can actually zoom all the way in there. So that's another cool function of zoom here in GarageBand. So to finish up here, I wanted to show you something that we can't zoom in and out on because I get asked this question a lot and that is our keyboard or our guitar instrument. So here we are in our organ. We can play that, but the problem is here, if you wanted to have more notes or less notes, there's no easy way to compress this down. You can use things in the iPad here at least, like adding your double keyboard here. So you've got... You've got two keyboards there. On your iPhone, you don't have that, but you can't actually squish or expand out your keyboard. And the same thing goes with our guitar. So let's jump over to our guitar now, and I'll show you what I mean. So here we are in our guitar, and if we go to the notes section, you'll see that we've only got a small amount of our scale here. We could only go up to there. But the problem is, what if you wanted to play some higher notes? Well, if you've got a larger iPad, I've only got the iPad Air 2 here. If you've got a larger iPad Pro, you'd be able to play more of those notes. I can't play all those notes because I've only got this amount of my fretboard here. So unfortunately, there's no way to zoom in or zoom out of our guitar instrument here in GarageBand. So they are the things that we can't use Zoom for, but as you saw, there's plenty of things that we can use the Zoom for. If we go back to our track view, we can zoom all the way out right here in our track view until we get our snap to grid off. We can zoom all the way back in. And once again, if we're in our MIDI instruments, we can tap on edit there. And in our piano roll, we can again zoom all the way out so we can see our whole track here, or we can zoom all the way in so that we can actually make some more precise controls. And we can even slide up and slide down to actually compress and expand out what we're looking at here in our MIDI roll. So that's all there is to zooming here in GarageBand. I hope you found this useful. If you didn't know about zooming, if you did, maybe you learned a trick or two. There's two more videos linked right down below. If you wanted to check out more about GarageBand, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon, and I'll see you on the next video.